All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. All right, before I go any further, I give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And Haru, well, another Shalom, the artists and Siakims, man. <clears throat> Throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, uh, this lesson I wanted to get into, man, was, um, you know, the job of a prophet, man, a prophet of the Lord, you know, and, um, you know, because these, 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 the churches, the pastors in these churches are not doing so, man, you know, um, we're going to show you what the, what the, what the, what a, what a real job of a pastor, of a, of a man of the Lord is supposed to be doing, man, all right, <coughs> And um, it's going to bring some scriptures and Lord willing, brothers be edified. Okay. Um, first scripture I'm going to grab, I want to go to the book of Matthew, book of St. Matthew, chapter 22. And I'm going to start at 9. Slack here. Matthew 22. All right. <clears throat> That's the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. It's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. It reads, Go ye therefore into the highways. Okay, and it, and this this is a commandment right here. You know, for uh, <clears throat> for the men of the Lord, man. Start off with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men on down. Alright. It says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That's right. We're trying to bid back the elect of the nation of Israel, man, to Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to be called Jesus. Okay? It's St. Matthew chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, not a building. Okay, not a, a, a um, you know, um, you know, gymnasiums where some people have church you know, or trailers or whatever type of building, man. The Lord didn't tell the men, Lord, to go into no building, man. Okay? The Lord said, what? Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. That's right, man. Okay? We're supposed to be out on the highways and byways. The true men in the Lord out there on the highways and byways, man. Week in and week out. Okay? And season, out of season, man. Regardless of our people here ready for bed, man. Okay? Let me get a quick precept. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Kind. That's right, man. The Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, who the word calls God and Jesus Christ, don't dwell in your church buildings, man. Okay? They, 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 they don't dwell there, man. Okay? Verse 49, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. Right. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? That's right, man. You can't contain the Lord and all his power, okay, in some little building. Is you crazy, man? All right. The Lord said he dwells not in temples made by hands, man. Okay. And who builds these church buildings, man? The hands of man. Okay, they don't just spring up on their own. Okay. So going back, Matthew 20, 29, it says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. That's right, bid the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, back to our Lord, our Savior, man. Lord Yahweh Shah, who the word we call Jesus, man. A so-called black man according to the scriptures. Alright? Now I'm gonna stay in the book of Matthews, and I'm gonna go to Chapter 4. All right. This is Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. And he said unto them, That's right, man. Um, you know, the Lord was, um, he was talking to um, um, Peter um, and Andrew, okay, and was telling them to follow him, man, because they were fishing, okay. All right, they 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 was they was uh their their um occupation were fishermen, okay, before you know the Lord you know told them to come with him, 
It's the same Matthew chapter 4 verse 19 And he said unto them Follow me and I will make you fishers of men That's right So the Lord told them to put down their nets man And follow him and he's going to make them fishers of men Okay Prophets man To bid back the elect man Okay To, 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 to bring Israel back into remembrance of who they are man Because our people were scattered In a Gentile state of mind Okay They were just They were, they, they was far gone man so I'm going to read that verse again. It's Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And that's what a prophet is supposed to be do, man. He, he's, he's, he's a fisherman, man. And what do fishermen do? They cast that net, which is this word, okay, which is the word. And when you, when you bring that net back up, okay, you start sorting, you're going through in it, and all the good fish you take in. All the bad fish you throw back out, man. Okay? Like your catfish, your shellfish. Okay? You throw that back out, man. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing with, 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 with um, bidding the elect back, man. Okay? We're fishing. All the good is going to come in and stay and be fruitful. Okay? Because, you know, where's the mouthpiece, man? You know, you, you, you have Bashim Yahweh Shah make up the increase. All right? He's the one that, 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 that makes this thing grow, man. He's the one that's, that's, that's waking up people's uh, minds, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? Because that's the only ones who can, who can be saved, all right? But, you know, the point is, in the job of a, of a, of a prophet, man, of a, of a man of the Lord, is it, it, to fish for the elect, man, okay? And first and foremost, the Lord has to be dealing with you, all right? And I'm going to grab one more precept. I'm going to go to Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel 3, chapter, verse 17. It reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's right, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. That's right, man. A, a, a prophet's job is to give a warning, man. Okay? I don't, I don't see T.D. Snakes, all right, Al Sharp Tongue, Jesse Jackass Jackson, okay? Creep Show Dollar, you name it, man. These other uh, false pastors, they're not warning our people anything to come, man. They're just um, preaching to our people prosperity, man. All right? And we wasn't set over here to be to, to prosper, man. We were set over here as a people to serve hardcore bondage, man, hardcore slavery. All right? And the pastor in your church is not telling you this. They're not warning you what will happen to you if you don't keep the dietary laws. Okay? They're not going to warn you, you know, of, of, of not fearing your power, man. They're not going to warn you about, uh, uh, um, you know, accepting who you are not calling yourself... Uh, Latino or Native American or, or, or black They're not warning you man They're not warning you of the RFID chip Which is the mark of the beast man Okay they're not warning you of concentration camps They're not warning you of a famine man They're not warning you That's the job of a watchman man Of a prophet I'm read it again Ezekiel 3 and 17 Son of man I have made thee a watchman And what do watchmen do man They stand up on the highest tower Okay in the city and watch for oncoming, oncoming people to the to the gates, man. Whether it's is 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 uh, familiar faces, whether it's the enemy, whatever, man. They're constantly on watch, man. All right. And the passing your churches are not doing. They're not being watchmen, man. They're scattering the sheep. Okay. <clears throat> it reads on Ezekiel three and seventeen. Son of man, I made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's just not happening, man, with the pastor in these churches. They're not warning our people about anything that's to come, man. Race riots, okay? Enough diseases, pestilences, okay? Earthquakes in diverse places. Prophecy, man. World War III. The coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shot. For the word we call Jesus, not warning us that, man. Okay? So a, a, a job of a man of the Lord is to prophesy, man, to tell you things before it's happening. Okay? 
So with that, I hope brothers edified. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And who will well. And now it's Shalom, the all the sincere occupants of the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with diligence and sincerity. Shalom.